Welcome. Uh, my name is George and I'm conducting this series called How to Wiz IQ. This is the introduction and welcome to um, what we're doing. It's uh, module 200. I'd like to show you a few tips here as we get started. Let me see how I can turn off my video. Okay. And I'd like you to see, we don't need to see this. Um, one of the first tips that I'm going to give you is that when you're conducting a class in the classroom and you're using screen sharing or recording anything for showing on YouTube, it's always good to make things as big as possible. So all of your browsers have the ability to zoom and that makes it much more comfortable. Even um, sometimes I really expanded big to um, be able to be seen on a mobile phone or a iPod, iPad. All right. So, where you find this information? If you're at my website, which is myeslfriends.com, um, you go to Lab Rats tab, down to How to Wiz IQ, and then jump right into Basic Training, which is where we're at already. So, um, I don't think I have much more to tell you other than. Um, Let's see if I can turn my camera back on. That would be cool. There we go. It's going to take some time. Don't try to learn everything at once. These video tutorials are five minutes long. No more. And this one might be a little less. But there's too much there. It took me well over a year to feel comfortable. And took me well, I don't want to scare you away. Anyway, just take one or two features a week to add to your bag of tricks, to your abilities. Uh, what do you need? Start simple. Why make your life so hard? Um, as you add more and more functionality to your classroom and you do more and more cool things like I do, you also increase the problems in a classroom. Simple is better. Take your time. You can get there. And you've always got Team WizIQ. Remember, you can send them a question, support at wizIQ.com. Remember when you're recording a class that, um, and you notice there's a problem. Well, look at the class in, um, what do you call it, in the recorded view, and record the time stamp of the class, or when, when something happens. Then, when you send a question into WizIQ, and their address is support at wiziq.com. That's their email address. You tell them the minute and second that something happened. You would be amazed at how many things they could find. So that's it for today um, uh, for the welcome. And um, I just want to remind you guys that WizIQ particularly, but the internet and the world is changing. It is becoming a a new ways of communicating and reaching out. Whether you use this system just to have a meeting with some friends or business or conduct classes, this enables everyone to help other people all over the world. I am sharing this not for teachers, for anyone who wishes to teach and what I re usually say is to share. You know things, you have skills, you have abilities. This platform helps you to share with other people. So, oh, my five minutes are up. So I think I'm going to end now. Bye-bye.